congratulations on this incredible film. I loved it. Thank you. I'm a sucker for musicals. Anything that has to do with music, I love it. What was the inspiration behind this particular script um, for this to be your directorial debut and the partnership that you guys carried into Teen Spirit? Uh, you know, you never know if you're gonna get to make another movie. Mm -hmm. So it was really just kind of selfish. I just wanted to put all of my favorite things into 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's really kind of where it started from. I'd heard this Robin song, Dancing On My Own. It was really inspiring to me. I loved the tone of the song. Um, and I wrote down a couple of ideas to that piece of music and it started from there. And then, and then I sent it to Jamie and it was really bad and he made it good. <laughs> Not quite how it went to be honest, but no, the, the, script, the script was very effective. I thought it was very elegantly written. Mm -hmm. It almost felt like it was already edited. It was so lean, there was no fat in it at all. Yeah. Um, and it just it spoke to me personally, you know. I, I really appreciate stories about people overcoming and, and escaping their circumstances and, and achieving their dreams. They're just films that I really admire. Um, and I felt like it leaned into a lot of Max's sensibilities as well as a person. It felt like a good fit for his first time out. Yeah. Well, you guys, I'm sure, had a lot of rehearsal time because Elle did sing live, and also there was the language aspect of it. How long did you guys go for pre-production of this film to really, you know, execute everything that you wanted in those next I, I, I love that you felt like we had preparation yeah. time. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was such an extremely rushed pre-production in, in a very kind of unusual way. I think it was mostly because it was like, do you want to make the movie or not? Well, then we're going to have mm. to go yesterday. It's kind of what happens with films. Yeah. So that uh, affected us a little bit behind the camera. The person it affected the most was Elle, who just had so little time to prepare for this movie. Um, and what that meant was that she would often shoot, you know, a 12 hour day at work where she's in every single scene and then she'd go home, she'd do an hour of Polish, she'd do an hour of British dialect, she'd do, you know, choreography normally at night. Um, so she's, you know, and they get a few hours sleep and go and do it all over again. It's an incredibly demanding uh, performance, yeah. What was the inspiration behind all the songs that you chose? Because it felt like it was very cultivated. You picked specific songs, and you even said with the Dancing on My Own, was that the that was the first song that you chose before you picked the rest of them? Yeah, Dancing on My Own was the first one I chose, and then you that sort of sets a tone, right, for the rest of the movie. So I think the next thing was, you know, that Tegan and Sarah song that opens the film. It has such a... It sounds like the beginning of something. I can't imagine how else to articulate yeah, it. When you true. hear the piano coming, it sounds like, oh, I guess something's beginning. So I was like, oh, I guess that should go at the beginning of the movie. And then, uh, and then lights. You know, this Ellie Goulding track has, I, I, I think, one of the you know, three most cinematic instrumentals I've ever heard mm -hmm. in my life. Um, so you go, well, we should probably figure out how to put this in the movie. Yeah. And it's it's just like a building blocks. I yeah. love it. If you guys were auditioning for Teen Spirit, mm. put yourself in that scenario, yeah. what would your audition song be? Good question. Oh, something something with a versatile range. Yeah, show the range. <laughs> show, show the range. Um, you have a beautiful I, singing voice. Thanks, you do really thanks, well, I think. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know, like, because I think you do have to kind of think of a song that does Suit fit you. somewhere in your I, yeah. range. Uh, yeah, I'd sing Elvis, probably. That's the one that fits me best. Ooh, can you give me a snippet? Tender, because it's like down there. It's not terrible. Love yeah. me true. That's all right. This is easier for me. I'm surprised. I'm surprised by that. Thanks. Obviously, you all had a lot of cinematic lights and different angles and a lot of like really cool shots. Was that written into the script when you saw it? Was that like your vision? Because you obviously have the farmland and then you have the bright lights of the stage. How did you blend those so fluidly? Yeah, the script was like, the, the whole movie honestly has been like very uh, like dogmatic and pre-planned and that's not really a choice so much as a product of circumstance. We had no money and time to make this movie and we wanted it to feel like a big experience mm -hmm. and we didn't want to cheat anybody. Um, so it just meant we had to be kind of confident with the plan. Mm -hmm. Like let's do this, this is what we're gonna do. Let's make sure we get it ten out of ten, mm -hmm. and if you stray too far from that, then you're gonna you're gonna fuck up. So it was really mm -hmm. just a it was really just us doubling down mm -hmm. on what we thought was gonna work out, and um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, it's amazing. And my last question was: L the first person that came to mind, or did you have a lengthy audition process no, when we, trying to find? We were looking at Polish girls, um, really? and and predominantly European actresses. Okay. Um, and you know, obviously, the criteria for the role is is intense. Saying British accent, play the age range mm -hmm. accurately, um, dance, carry the entire film. Um, it's it's really a lot to ask of um, uh, of, of anyone, really. Mm -hmm. So so then we kind of we were forced into a situation where we kind of had to announce the movie, otherwise we were going to kind of miss a market window. Mm -hmm. So we kind of threw the announcement out there, 
kind of in the dark. And Elle actually sought us out. You know, she was looking for a film that she, where she could sing and it kind of showcased the, the fact that she was a great singer. So we kind of got the golden ticket in the end. Um, Such luck. So much luckily, luck. So yeah. much luck on this movie. Yeah. Well, it was incredible. Thank you so much. Thank guys. you so much. Thank you so much.